Hey everyone, it's Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty. Welcome to a very special video today. We're actually doing two things for the very first time. The first thing is that we are doing a charity make-along. This is not something that I've done here hosted with Nitty Natty before, and I'm really, really excited that we're getting to do this, especially as we're entering almost into November, which here in America, we kind of you know, take the time to be very thankful as Thanksgiving approaches and, you know, the holidays approach are approaching. So it's just the perfect time of year to really amp that up and do some giving with this gift that we already have, the gift of crafting and the extra yarn that we have and just the knowledge that we have to knit and crochet. It's also the very first time that I am doing an interview. Um, I hope it's not the last time because I had a lot of fun, um, but Today, I am going to be sharing with you an organization called Wooly Wishes, and I'm going to get my notes here so that I make sure to explain this the best that I can. So Wooly Wishes is a nonprofit organization dedicated to using the handicrafts to heal Syrian refugee communities affected by war by providing knitted, crocheted, and hand sewn items. So I'm not gonna tell you everything right now because I'm gonna let them tell you in the interview, but just know that we've got some really fun things surrounding this make along. It's going to start today, October 20th, and it's going to run till November 15th. So plenty of time to actually make some items, but of course we'll go over all of those details in the interview. So I'm gonna stop talking now and let you hear from Wooly Wishes in the interview and I will come back at the end to let you know a few more details and some of the prizes surrounding the make along. All right, here's the interview, enjoy. Hey everyone, it's Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty and I am here with two amazing people today, Celine and Catherine. They are both from the organization Wooly Wishes and we're gonna be doing something fun together. We're partnering up for a make-along and we're gonna tell you all about it today, the reason why we're doing it, and I just can't wait to get started. So let me first introduce you to Celine. She is the founder and the executive director of Wooly Wishes, so hi Celine. Hi, thank you so much for having me today. And then Catherine is here as well. Catherine is the event coordinator for Wooly Wishes. Hello, I'm Catherine. Nice to meet everybody. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. We're going to be doing this interview style. As you guys know, this is my first interview, so I'm really excited, but who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> um, we have really cute backgrounds courtesy of Wooly Wishes. They're adorable, and I feel like I want to use mine for work now because it looks like knitting, but it's, it's subtle. So I think it would, I think it would work for work for sure. Um, okay, so let's dive into some questions. Let's get right to it. So I guess this one can be for Celine. Tell us what exactly is Wooly Wishes? What do you guys do? Hi, so Wooly Wishes is a student-led organization and we're an international organization whose main focus is to alleviate the Syrian refugee crisis that's ongoing right now by donating handmade items. So the Syrian refugee crisis is centered in the Middle East and, uh, and as a result of it, a lot of people have been forced to flee their homes and live in makeshift tents and live in these really dire situations. And so what we aim to do is we aim to help those people going through and um, experiencing those hardships by donating handmade, hand-sewn, crocheted, and knitted items and reminding them that there is always a reason to stay hopeful. All right, so Catherine, as the events coordinator, tell us a little bit about what you do with Wooly Wishes. Hi, so um, yeah, I'm the events coordinator. So basically I work on coordinating our different events. I've only been with Wooly Wishes since like COVID started, so we haven't been able to do any in-person events like Celine was doing before this all started, but um, currently I'm working on getting in touch with different um, knitters who have like knitting podcasts and things like that on YouTube to make different interviews like this so that we can get our organization out there so we can get more donations. And I bet we have some people watching that are like podcasters, so maybe you'll have some people reaching out because I think they're gonna be really excited when they find out what we're gonna be doing. Um, so here's where you guys come into play as knitters and crocheters. So we are going to have a make-along 
It's starting right now today, October 20th, and we are going to be making some items for Wooly Wishes. So we're gonna like go through all the details. I also have lots of stuff linked in the description box for you guys, um, but I just wanted to put that out there right now that we're doing a make along, um, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So Wooly Wishes has a goal of 1,000 items donated, and they are at halfway, and so I feel like we can really get them there. So I guess, Celine, let's come back to you. How many items do you guys have so far, and then why the goal of 1,000 items? We're currently at 460 items, and we've received donations from um, states like California and also a lot of the East Coast states like New York and also Florida. And we're hoping to reach 10,000 so that we can really make a big, sorry, 1,000 items so that we can really make a big impact on the Syrian refugee crisis. Well, I feel like 10,000 items is still going to happen for you guys, but 1,000 items first. <laughs> um, so the cool thing, if you go to the Wooly Wishes website, they have a map of the United States and maybe bigger than the United States. But I was looking at the United States map and I was really sad because nobody has donated from Texas yet, but we're definitely going to change it because throughout the make along, I'm going to be making uh, at least one item to send off. And I want to see more states on the map. No, no one from Tennessee either, which is my home state. So I know we have to like add more to it. It's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. So our goal right now, this make long is going to run from October 20th to November 15th. And the November 15th deadline is important because it is a, a shipping date. Um, so actually, do, Celine, do you want to talk about that too? Yeah, sure. So on um, right around the U.S. Thanksgiving holiday, we're going to be making a trip to the Middle East and we're gonna be flying out all of our items to Turkey and we're going to visit these Syrian refugee camps and we're gonna be handing out our items. And this is really exciting because it's our first trip to the Middle East and we're gonna be going to a refugee camp in Izmir, Turkey, which is an undocumented refugee camp, meaning that they don't get any government benefits. And so they're a lot less, um, they're much behind compared to other refugee camps and conditions are a lot tougher there. So we're going to be lending out a hand and helping them. So we're going to be really focusing on getting a lot of items between now and November 15th. Our goal is 250 and we're going to have a fun way to track it that we'll talk about in a little bit. But if you're like, okay, I'm really busy right now and I don't know if I can make something yet. Um, it's okay because you can always donate to Wooly Wishes even beyond that deadline. Um, but we're gonna be doing like a big push to get in before November 15th, which I think is good because it's like, you know, going into November is a really, uh, in America, we focus on being thankful and appreciating and focusing on doing things for others. So I feel like this is like the right time. <laughs> and there's always, a, it's always a good time, but it's like the right time of year for those kind of charitable, acts. So I'm excited. Okay, let's talk more details about this make along. So Catherine, tell us what kinds of things can people make or donate? Yeah, so Wooly Wishes accepts all kinds of donations of all different, um, all different materials, um, sorry, materials. Yeah, I guess that's what you would say. <laughs> all different materials, um, anything you like to knit with, anything you like to knit. I think, um, um, Natalie is going to link some patterns in the description that are free. Um, so those you can use as like a guideline if you're like, I don't know what to make. I think she's going to have some hats, some socks, um, sweaters. Um, we also mainly focus on child items. Um, so baby blankets, baby, boot, baby booties, baby hats, like anything for like children is amazing. But anything you want to make, that would be awesome. Now, what kinds of like, um, like, is there any specific yarn that you want or like we can't use? Like, what are the details around that? Yeah, we accept like any yarn that you like to knit with. Um, anything works. <laughs> so like, if I really like, <laughs> if I really like to knit with sock yarn that's merino and wool, I'm not merino and wool, merino, wool, and nylon, then that's cool. I can knit with my favorite yarn. 
Okay. Yes, you can. <laughs> okay, good. Because yeah, sometimes, you know, I just like to, I just like to make what I like to make, but it's really good that there's an organization that I can send that to. Um, so I do have some patterns that I, I looked on Ravelry and found, I think three hat patterns, three sweater patterns, and three like footwear patterns for both knitting and crochet. And all of the patterns are free. They might look like they are, you have to purchase them, but that's because they're like a paid PDF. But if you go to the blog, then they are a free pattern. But those are not the only patterns um, that you can use. I think Wooly Wishes has a Ravelry group that has some other patterns linked. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So um, I guess once we've made our items, we need, to, we need to get them to you. So Celine, tell us how we can get those items to you. So once you've finished all of your knitting or crocheting or sewing projects, you basically package them into any box and then you can ship them to our PO box, which is based in the Bay Area, California. And on our website, we have a donate items page. And if you visit there, you can find the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can, on where our PO box is located and how you can ship your items directly to us. But essentially, once you ship your items, we also have a shipment form, which you can fill out. And Natalie will also have a separate form if you want to, um, so we can keep track of who's donating and how many you're donating. And um, you ship it to us. Once we receive it, we will send you a confirmation email letting you know that we received your item. And if you give us permission, we'll also add your name to a donation map, which Natalie mentioned earlier. And um, we'll be keeping track of who's donating and from where, and hopefully we'll be able to fill up more states from that. And also we love sharing all of your creations um, on our social media. So we, you have a chance that, that if you send it to us, we may post it to our Ravelry or to our Instagram page. Awesome. Yeah, I am really excited to get Texas on that map and maybe Tennessee too, but it won't be me, but hopefully somebody in Tennessee. Um, so we are hopefully gonna do a few little prizes throughout the make along as well. I'm gonna reach out to some people and see if I can't get a few things donated to us. So if you um, have created something to donate, then you might even get to win a prize as well. So I am gonna have a tracker. Um, it'll be linked in the description box, but it'll be a little, like a really short Google form because if you want to make multiple items, like let's say you're like a huge like crochet hat person, you're gonna make like 10 hats, 10 baby hats, 10 children's hats. Um, it would be great if you could fill out a form for each one. So the form's really short, um, but each one I will be able to see like, okay, now we have a hat, now we have a sweater, and we're gonna track that towards our 250 items that we're going for during this make along. And then once they get over to Celine for Wooly Wishes, then they will be tracked on their website towards their goal of 1,000 items. So that's gonna be really exciting. But I'll have all the details below. I'll also create like a Google Doc and a Ravelry thread. So wherever you're comfortable, whatever site you like to use, the information is gonna be like, nice and in one place for you. And then of course, Wooly Wishes has a website as well. So let's like really get deep into what Wooly Wishes is all about. So Celine, you're the founder. Tell me what inspired you to, to start this organization? Like what kind of gave you the idea and has kept you going? Yeah, so I guess it began from a much younger age when I first learned to knit from my grandparents. And I would knit a lot in elementary school and especially in the third grade. But I kind of took a break because I got really busy with school as I grew up. And it actually didn't begin with knitting itself, but it began when I heard about the Syrian refugee crisis on the Turkish um, TV, on Turkish media. And I was kind of taken aback by what I heard because there were some very interesting points being made. And when I looked into exactly what the Syrian refugee crisis was about, I was kind of astounded at um, what different media sources would say about it. And so I took the time to do research into it myself. and. I realized that there were all of these people going through all of these hardships of having to leave their home country and settle in a completely different area. 
And I realized that with the support of people in the US, we could really make a difference um, on this issue in the Middle East. Because in the Middle East, there's actually a lot of resentment toward um, the Syrian refugee crisis, but it's, it can be really unfair to especially the children who are, who are being born into this lives and, um, have, and already have to face the resentment. So I realized that by teaming up with other knitters and other crocheters in the Middle East, I could really make an impact on what's going on. Sorry, in the US, I could really make an impact on what's going on in the Middle East. So I think it would help people to know like a little bit more about you. Like even if you feel comfortable sharing like how old you are and then like your background related to to your mission? Um, yeah, I'm currently 16 years old and I go to school in the Bay Area, California. I'm a junior in high school. I'll be graduating next year. And um, I always did a lot of knitting when I was really young. I learned from my grandparents first, probably maybe in second grade. And then in third grade, I got really lucky because my teacher had us knit all the time in class because she said it helped us to develop our brains. And so I guess from a really young age, I, I, I already got really interested in the handcrafts. And then in high school, when I learned about how other charities could make an impact with knitting and um, the handicrafts, that's when I really made the connection between the Syrian refugee crisis and, and knitting and crocheting. And that's how Bully Wishes came together. Okay, now, Catherine, we have to know how you got joined up with Celine and your background, so just tell us all of that. Awesome, yeah. So I actually found Holy Wishes because one of my friends from my high school, she was um, in a different organization called Purify, and they would repost, like, tons of different organizations, like, stuff, like, all these student-led organizations. They were like, look at this one, look at this one. And I saw Holy Wishes. I was like, this looks super cute. Like, I haven't knitted in a while. Like, this might be fun, like, at the beginning of quarantine, because I was super bored, and I'm, like, a very active person. Like, I'm always, like, I ran three clubs before. Like, I do everything. So I was like, this looks awesome. I need to apply. So then I applied. Um, Celine picked me to join the team as an event coordinator. So I've been on the team since March. Um, yeah, that's kind of how I got involved with the organization. In terms of like my like background um, in knitting and things, I'm actually from Canada. Um, so if you're from Canada, be sure to donate. We need donations from Canada too, not just the U.S. Because <laughs> I'm the only one on the map who's not from the U.S. So be sure to join and donate items. <laughs> But yeah, I started knitting um, in grade, around grade six or something like that. Um, my grandma actually used to live with us. And one day I was like, I really want to knit. And my grandma hadn't knitted in years because she had arth arthritis. But then I got like a knitting starter pack. And I was like, this is cool. But I could not figure out how to cast on for the life of me. I tried like millions of times. I kept messing up. It was a whole mess. So then my grandma taught me how to cast on. And then we went to Sudbury to visit my grandparents, like my other grandparents, and my aunt and stuff were there, and they all taught me like how to knit and things, so then I knitted this huge like giant square, and it was the ugliest thing ever, but that was the first thing I knitted, and then from there I just got better and better, and now I'm here. <laughs> That's awesome. It's, it's really cool to hear like how something gets started, and you guys are both young, and I was young when I started knitting, and we have lots of young knitters and crocheters that watch because while most of our most of my audience is going to be like my age or older their daughters are watching like some sometimes people will say oh my my 10 year old loves to knit and loves to watch and so I feel like they're gonna see you guys and get really excited because it's I don't know it's just amazing to be able to like be starting an organization at 16 or Probably you're younger than 16, but it's just crazy. You guys are, it's amazing. Um, okay, so tell me how, I think this would be good for Catherine to answer as the events coordinator. How can people, you know, we're going to do the make along. It's going to be from, we're really focusing on it from now until November 15th, because that is the um, ship date for the next time the items are being taken over. Um, but this is not just like a one time a year kind of thing. So how can people continue to be involved even after the make along or 
if they want to do even more. Yeah, so Wooly Wishes, we accept donations anytime. Um, so just keep donating items whenever you feel like it. Um, the shipment dates are posted on our website. Celine kind of handles um, shipping and that kind of stuff. Um, we actually also have another um, make along in the process at the same time as this one with another knitter, um, Knit Boop. Um, she's not active on YouTube right now, but she is on Instagram. Um, we actually did an interview with her. I believe it was two weeks ago, last week or last week from when we're recording this, but that'll be like a month before we actually premiere this. <laughs> so we did a um, thing with her and then now we're doing a make-along with her as well. Um, so be sure to check that out if you want to participate in both make-alongs. Um, <laughs> that one, um, we are working out the details currently, but I'm sure by the time this video premieres, that will be all figured out and it'll be posted on our Instagram. Um, and then I'm hoping to stay in contact with, um, or not stay in contact, sorry, um, become like get in contact with some more knitters um, so that we can continue to expand our organization and do the best we can in this new online world we're living in. Well, I always encourage people to double dip and make alongs. So it was knit boop, right? Boop. I think I'll make sure to um, put her like Instagram handle because I did go and look at her page. I had not heard of her before and her page is really cute. So obviously like, I don't know, being really cute on, on your Instagram page is like, okay, I want to look at more of this. Um, so once she has those details, definitely like double dip, especially if um, there's some prizes involved, that's always really fun um, for sure. Okay, so uh, Celine, I think this would be good for you or Catherine, either one. How can um, people like stay in contact and like uh, find out more information and also just your social media, like how can they keep up with you guys? So we have a Ravelry page and an Instagram page. And also if you'd like us, if you like to contact us, we have an email and you can also check out our website, which we'll always be updating and you can find all the information you'll ever need on our website. So our Instagram page is at Wooly Wishes and our, we have a Ravelry group, which is Wooly Wishes, Knitting for Syrian Refugees. Um, we have a website too, woollywishes.org. Um, you can search that up and on there you can also find the links to all of our other social media and also you can find our email on there too, which is woollywishesorg at gmail.com. All right, open-ended. Is there anything else that we want to make sure we mention before we wrap this up? We have these really cute tags on our website, which you can print out. And there are these really cute little cards where you can write your name, you can write where you're from, and you can also write a really cute message. We've had people who, who've like put a lot of effort into decorating them. They add stickers and they use all sorts of colorful pens. And there's also an Arabic message on there too. So people can, people, what people usually do is they print those out, they cut them out, they write their messages, and then you can just um, attach it to your knitted items with yarn. That sounds really cute. To attach it with the yarn. I love that. Catherine, were you going to add something? Yeah, just what Celine was saying before about like all our social media and our website and stuff, our address of the PO box is also on our website because um, that is an important thing to know. So yeah. yeah, and I'll have the website and a lot of the other links down below and then you can head there, get all the information. I'll um, probably link directly the how to ship page so that you can have like those those kinds of information um the address and everything like that all listed in there awesome well thank you celine and Catherine, both so much um for letting me interview you today and for being my first interviewees that was very exciting <laughs> but thank you guys so much and i'm excited 250 items that's what we're going for <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank you so much to Catherine and Celine for being my first interviewees ever. I hope to do more. I really do, because it was a lot of fun. Um, but I'm so excited for this make-along, just that it is something a little more you know, beyond the extent of just our homes this time. It's actually going to make 
a difference. So I'm really excited about that. So just some reminders, everything is linked down below, all the details that you need. I've got their website, I've got the form that you need to fill out, I've got all the patterns um, that we're suggesting, they're free patterns. Um, you can you don't have to use just those patterns but those are just some suggestions to get you started so there's like three knit hats and three crochet hats and baby sweaters and knit and crochet and just everything that you could possibly need hopefully there's a pattern there that you're going to enjoy i'm probably going to make a hat i'm going to pull out one of these fun skeins behind me i love a charity that accepts yarn that i like to work with because sometimes you know it's very specific and i love that woolly wishes lets you you know choose the high quality yarn that you might love to work with. Okay, so let's talk about prizes. So we have tons of uh, sponsors that have donated to this make along. I'm really excited to tell you about them. Um, I've got, I think 11 right now. I might add on more later. Who knows? Um, but in order to enter to win a prize, you do have to be donating something to Wooly Wishes. And the way that I'm going to know if you've done that is by you filling out the, um, I think they call it the shipment form. Yeah, I think it's the shipment form, but I'll have it linked down below. So when you fill out the shipment form, basically you're saying that you're ready to ship. It doesn't mean that you've shipped yet. So if you want to fill it out as you do each item, that's totally fine. I'm going to be keeping track every week and seeing, you know, we have this many hats or this many sweaters or this many socks and just seeing, you know, what we have going into this. I really think that the whole Love and Stitches world can pull together and help Wooly Wishes get a lot of items donated. Okay, so in order to enter to win a prize, you are going to fill out that shipment form. You'll put your Instagram and your Ravelry, I think both in there, and then I will be able to see that and I will be able to draw randomly from there. Okay, so let's see. We have so many great prizes donated let me go through them so the first donation we have is from ashley i think it's wimpy or maybe wimp ashley wimp designs um one ultra soft that's what sheep said shirt it is so cute i love the play on words here thank you so much ashley for this prize the next prize is from blush yarns it is one sock set 100 gram skein along with a 20 gram mini you know you're going to put that to use to make some socks the next prize is from the graceful tangle she's actually got five prizes and i will have details on how all of these prizes are going to be distributed plus links to everyone's shops um, in not just in the description box, but if you go to the description box, there is a, um, a Google Doc that has like every all the information and I'll also have it on Ravelry. So that it's all in one place for you. Okay, from the Graceful Tangle, she's got five patterns. Her Genesis Messy Bun Beanie, Vanilla Twist Cowl, Homebody Placemats, Wooly Ridges Messy Bun Beanie, and the October Leaf Shawl. Check out the Graceful Tangle for some pattern ideas for things to donate as well, because she's got some really great things on there. Okay, the next is from JS Threads. This is a pastel galaxy stitch marker set. The set is four pieces of different shapes with a 10 millimeter clasp, my favorite, to make them usable for either knit or crochet projects or as a stitch marker or progress keeper. The next prize is from Knitting with Chopsticks. This is a 10 knit stitch patterns ebook. It has tons of really cool, uh, it has 10 of them, <laughs> different uh, stitch patterns that you can use in any project. Really, really cool, a great sampler for you. The next prize is from Lamb Woman Knits. It is a sock set with one 100 gram skein and one 20 gram skein. And as a reminder, I'm gonna have everyone's shops linked in that uh, little uh, Google Doc that has all the information and on Ravelry so you have it all in one place. The next prize is from Mandy's Makings. It is a Happy Tourist sock set, one full skein of 100 grams, um, in her fingering weight base in the color Happy Taurus with a coordinating 20 gram mini skein and the colorway Iconic Awning. So the full skein has that pink, chocolate, dark brown and the coordinating mini is, I'm sorry, dark green because the mini is also dark green. Super, super cute. And the next prize is from Sam Squeak. It is a copy of her frosted midnight hat pattern or a different pattern if you are wanting to choose that. The hat looks super, super cute. I think this would be another one that would be a great hat pattern to knit to donate to Wooly Wishes as well. So go check out Sam Squeak. 
The next prize is from Stitching Sisters 2.0. This is a drawstring project bag, or if you choose a zippered project bag, in the fabric of your choice. So either one, the drawstring or the zippered, I like both, so it'll be hard for you to choose on that one. The next prize is from White Rose Fiber Company, a medium zippered project bag in the fabric of your choosing. You guys, so many great prizes here. Bags, yarn, stitch markers, patterns. It's gonna be great. And we're donating to charity, so it's even better. The last one that I have for now, again, I might add some more, so make sure to go back and check that Google Doc, and remember, you're entering by filling out the shipment form um, so I know that you've got a prize going to Wooly Wishes. So the last one is from Yali Crochet. This is two skeins of uh, 741 yarns of yarns. 741 yarns. Um, 741 yards of fine number two yarn. It is a fuzzy, fuzzy yarn. Would be great to make something for um, a little one in your life. Okay, so that's all the prizes for now. Again, everything, everything is gonna be in the description box. So beneath the video, hit the arrow, let that drop down and uh, you know check everything out. It will all be there. So get started when you can today's the first day but you know what if you need to wait till the weekend to start that's okay get your hats cast on your socks or your baby sweaters whatever you want to make you know grab a skein out of your stash that you're like it's beautiful but it's not me and knit it up and you can send it off to woolly wishes and it will really make a difference for somebody else. I'm, I'm very excited to do this. So let me know if you what you're planning to make and let me know if you liked um, seeing an interview and if there's anywhere you want me to go with interviews if you want to see more um, Just let me know all the feedback is definitely appreciated. All right guys. Thank you so much And I can't wait to see what you're making tag me on Instagram so I can see and use that hashtag Wooly wishes so they can see it as well. Okay. I will see you on Thursday with a brand new podcast And I have more fun stuff coming next week it's not over yet. All right, see you in the next one. Bye.